seven months ago in Rio, along with my rowing partner, Heather Stanning, I defended the Olympic title I won in 2012. We were cheered on by my fiance, Steve Backshall. The amount of work they put into getting up winter mornings and it's freezing cold. It was all about today, it was all about coming here and defending the, the title. And they've just been unbelievable. And now I'm about to do all that winter training again, but this time with my husband, Steve. We're taking on something that's going to test me and possibly our relationship to the limit. I was twiddling my thumbs a bit after Rio and um, wanted a challenge. So I've roped Steve into doing the Divisors to Westminster kayak race and he's done it before. And I've always wanted to do something really different. Considered to be one of the oldest endurance events in the world, the race travels 125 miles, from Divisors in Wiltshire to Westminster in London, non-stop. So the training is intense. We've only decided to do this six weeks before the race. Well, the other two times I've done it, I've had a year of training. So six weeks isn't enough. We're now in full-time training to get our bodies and minds ready. As well as covering the miles in the kayak, we're hitting the gym to build the upper body and core strength we'll need. That's nice how it's gone. Just one more. Go on, go on, go on. And for me, I'll be learning an entirely new discipline. Kayaking is totally new to me, and actually lots of people probably watch it and think it's very similar to rowing. But in terms of the muscle groups and the energy systems and the way you train, it's actually entirely different. But I am out of my comfort zone in a kayak at the moment. I've never been in a kayak like this before, so I need to get used to it. Yes. <laughs> you tell me when you're going to get it in. Okay, here we go. During the race, I'll be steering and setting the pace. But at the moment, just keeping it stable is a problem. Oh, yeah, so calm. That was a disaster. Oh. I'm not feeling very confident right now. <laughs> How far did we go? About 50 metres. <laughs> Are you happy with doing this with me? Just as important as our training is our diet. Over the next few weeks, we'll be eating plenty of slow-release carbohydrates and a large amount of fruit and veg, which is easier to get down if it's blended. How's it taste? How it looks, like sludge. Good though. Do you want mine as well? No. <laughs> to help us stay afloat, we've opted for a more stable boat, but this will make the race harder as it's slower and heavier. Along the way, there are 77 locks where we'll need to get out and carry the boat, running with it on our shoulders. After two weeks of river training, we're now covering distances of over 20 miles in each session, and they're starting to take their toll. My back is starting to hurt, and my hands are a little bit sore. It'll be worse in the morning. Trust yeah. me, your shoulders are going to hurt so bad. So far, we've done all of our training on the River Thames, but the first 52 miles of the race are on the canal. So we head to Newbury to start a session from there. This is what the majority of the race is all about. And it's very, very different from the river because there's no flow, it's completely flat water. Paddling on a canal is much more difficult. And after just three and a half hours with no assistance from the flow, I realise just how tough this challenge is going to be. That's a wake up call, isn't it? I found that quite hard. I'm, I'm tired, I'm really tired. Yeah. The uh, speed we were going today is the speed that we need to do for 125 miles. I think if someone had told me now to go on for another half hour, I just would have got the boat. I, I, that, that was me done today. But with the race getting ever closer, we need to step up a gear, which includes training at night. During the event, this is when a lot of people give up. I feel like I've started from scratch, just being in the dark. It's, it is a whole new ball game. It's really disorientating. Half the race is at night, you know, 10 hours of paddling like this. Yeah. We've got a lot of work to do, to be honest. We've got a day to do it. We'll be all right. What could possibly go wrong? 